Hi there, how are you? So today we are going to uh, install Kali Linux software on a Windows machine. So I'm going to show you step by step how we can install on any Windows uh, machine. So I will use with the Windows 10 uh, machine to install the Kali software. So what is actually a Kali Linux? So Kali Linux also known as Backtrack Linux, which is an open source Debian based Linux distribution which is uh, made for like penetration testing, security auditing, etc. And uh, Kali Linux contains like so many like hundreds of targeted uh, towards like various information security tasks such as penetration testing or the security research or computer forensic and reverse engineering. So Kali software or Kali Linux is also a multi-platform solution like which is available free of cost. So no need to pay anything. So you can just uh, explore this uh, interesting software. Uh, it has some very interesting features uh, like it has more than 600 pen penetration testing tools included in the same build. It is free of course. It has a open source git repository for you. Just check out the code and explore more on this. It has a FHS compliant. It has a like wide range of wireless device support it, it, it included so, so you can use uh, for those devices. It has custom kernel and patches for the injection also. It is developed in a very secure environment, so you can rely on the score in this sources actually. It, it also supports multi-language, so no problem on that. It is completely customizable, so you can do it right once you have the code checkout at your end. So and similarly, it has a lot of other features which, which you can explore on the website of the Kali Linux. So let's go ahead and install the Kali Linux software on the machine. okay so what exactly will we have to download since we are going to install in linux operating system uh, windows machine so i am using my windows uh, 10 pro machine so here i'm going to install the kali so it's a linux so you know like uh, to run a linux machine on windows right you need some virtual environment correct so we have to run the linux kali software on a windows in a in virtual environment so to run the virtual environment we need a virtual environment software some some software there are many software available like vmware or the virtual box so anyone that you can use in my video this video i'm going to show you how to install kali software on the virtual box uh, environment so what i will do i will download the virtual box uh, for those who already having no problem but i'm just showing for those people who doesn't have the uh, virtual box so it's very simple right if you can just google it virtual box you can get the download page on the official VirtualBox website. So you can download the in any latest one, no problem. Simply just you download this exe and just install this application. Yeah. So I already have downloaded the software so that it, it may uh, it will save some time for this video. So I have downloaded this VirtualBox uh, the, the latest software. So today is uh, 19th july 2021 so this is 6.1.22 is the latest build for this virtual box so i have downloaded this okay now the next thing is what uh, to download the kali software so what we are going to do so we'll go on kali.org So on this website right the very first page if you go there see it will it will show you a link for download so click on that download link it will show you a uh, various option to for this distribution so we are choosing this virtual machine way right because we are running on a uh, windows machine so i will use i need a virtual machine enabled uh, image so this this is an option for for this uh, example right so uh, so i will just click on this box and it will take me to uh, the next page where it, it is showing me like uh, for which uh, virtual machine that you are going to download. So it has it is giving you a VMware and the virtual box together. And also you are able to choose uh, the OS OS bit right. If you are having 64 bit, use it from here, or you can switch on 32 bit. So check your uh, OS uh, type which is which is actually supporting. So for mine right, I get some 64 bit. So I will go here and I will download this virtual box image which is uh, which is which includes the Kali Linux software so i will download this from this download button it, it also have the torrent link and all right you can use that 
So anywhere right, you have to download this VirtualBox image for the Linux uh, software. So I already have downloaded this Kali uh, image. So this is an OVA extension, which actually a custom extension for VirtualBox image, which pre which comes with the pre-configured thing. So everything is included in that. Okay. So that is what my software. Fine. Okay. Now one more thing that I have downloaded for the VirtualBox. There is an extension pack. So we also have to download that extension pack from VirtualBox. So let explore on this page. So I will go on the download page for the virtual box so it keeps if you come down you will see a link like virtual oracle vm virtual box extension pack so you have to download this extension pack also which will require to run the Kali software on the windows machine so i already have downloaded this yeah okay so these three software minimum these three software are needed to run the Kali on your machine okay so next thing is what we are going to uh, install uh, the software on the machine okay so let's do that okay so now we have to install the extension pack that we had downloaded if you remember so this is the extension pack so we will install this extension pack from the preference so click on this preference go down at the extension and here you will use an add okay and I am installing this pack so I will select this file open now install just scroll down to confirm your agreement on this and then agree okay so this extension pack is ready so now this virtual box software is ready to actually install the Kali software so now the next step is what we will install the Kali software so the Kali software Kali Linux image that we have already downloaded and this is already pre-built and everything is configured there so what we will do we will simply import this so now in virtual box go to file menu and here you have a import appliance you click on this select the file that we have downloaded this one the OVA file and open go to next page so it will show all the pre configuration which is already uh, like there in this OVA file so no need to do any custom customization for this configuration everything is set like CPU is 2 is needed or RAM it has taken around 2 GB and similarly all the default settings that is it has actually taken on so do not no need to change anything unless or until you require anything so I am not doing any change I'm just keeping it as it is so I'm, I'm just press this import and we'll do the agree so here the Linux image is now getting extracted for this virtual box environment so it may take some time depending upon your machine configuration and other things so we need to wait for that so Linux at least we have extracted the image in the virtual box now it's time to start the Linux setup and everything so for that what I will do I will simply use this start button okay so now you can see in center we are seeing the initial screens for the Kali this is the very first screen of Kali which is asking to select the options so it will do some automatic operations so please wait so the image that we had downloaded right it has everything pre-installed all configured prior to this so we we are not supposed to do any configuration and the setup everything it, it it is at the ready stage 
So just wait for the login screen directly. Yeah, now. So this is the Kali Linux, Linux uh, the login page. So for this image that we have downloaded, it has a default uh, credentials for the, uh, the for this authentication. So it has a Kali and Kali same in slower case. And hit it. So now you you will get into the Kali Linux interface. Close the similar messages or virtual box. So this is the screen for Kali Linux which you are waiting for, and we are installed through the virtual box. So this is a Linux operating system we are running over in Windows machine. Pretty well, right? So let me try to come out from Linux. So I'm just going here by Linux to log out, or maybe I can use the shutdown. So it will properly shut down the Linux and we'll come back on the host machine which is our window machine. So now we have come came back on my our Windows machine. So this is a virtual box. So next time whenever you wanted to run on uh, the Kali software, simply run on the virtual box and from here click on the start and you will get into the Kali environment. So no need to do anything on the startup, just wait for the login screen. There we go. Now we need to use login tally and tally. And we are on the desktop the interface so now my job is done so now it's your turn so just go ahead and install the software once you have installed the software do whatever you want right as per your need and please let me know if you have any other question or maybe uh, some suggestion or overall experience for this uh, in the comment box thanks a lot